just wanted to share, uh, there was a professor, assistant professor at Case in operations research, Dr. Sengupta. He went to the University of Waterloo, and uh, his story is he didn't drive. So he was asked to give a lecture in Rome, Georgia. So he went to the Greyhound bus station at Cleveland, no problem, and he gave his lecture. On coming back, when he was at the Greyhound station in Rome, Georgia, he was asked to sit in the black area. He is, no, he, he is sharing the same thing going to Cincinnati. That not, but I was in Middle Rock, Arkansas in 1964 or 65. And because of my turban, no problem. For all others, there was one dollar membership to get into a restaurant. <laughs> It's funny that you mentioned that because we found this article that was written, it was called the India Society of Detroit. This is an organization that was started in the 1910s. It is an organization that was founded to help recent Indian immigrants as students uh, sort of get acclimated to life in the United States. And one of the pieces of advice that they gave to these Indian students was wear a turban. This is not advice that you hear today. The advice was wear a turban because it will distinguish you. People will see you're someone different and they'll give you more respect. So that's, that's interesting. To say. On a lighter side, I was a Tampa, Florida, and people were watching me, and this buddy of mine says, yes, he's a Maharaja. <laughs> <laughs> he's interviewing for his harem. <laughs>